building strong tax systems could be a powerful entry point for building the social contract, for building the state, and thus for driving broader development processes. I've worked with the ICD for 14 years now, right? And from the beginning, we often got the question, why taxes, right? And in turn, what's so important about the ICD? Because for many people, the question of why you would study taxes as a central question of development was far from obvious. The reality is that when I started working in this field, I wasn't interested in taxes, right? My core interest was in how you build effective public sector institutions to underpin successful development processes. I turned towards the study of taxes because my PhD supervisor turned me on to an exciting possibility. The idea that building strong tax systems could be a powerful entry point for building the social contract, for building the state, and thus for driving broader development processes. Part of that story is an obvious one. Taxes provide the revenues that countries need to make important development investments. In that sense, they're the foundation for successful development processes. But taxes are also potentially so much more than that. Taxes can be the starting point for the social contract because taxes are the place at which states confront their citizens. A state that wants to extract taxes from its citizens needs at some point to offer them at least something in return. And those citizens when taxed are gonna turn around and demand things from those governments. That's a bargain about what people contribute to their society and what they want their society to look like the foundation for durable social contracts and development. In turn, a country that wants to raise taxes effectively needs to build strong public sector institutions that allow it to extract those revenues effectively. But building those strong institutions, rules-based institutions, isn't just about taxes. That can also become a motivator and a model for transforming public sector institutions more broadly creating a new and more dynamic context for development processes. I'm biased, of course, but I think that the ICTD has been pivotal in doing transformative work and reshaping the way that we think about tax challenges in lower income countries. We've thought about tax challenges as being not just about technical reform, but equally as being a challenge of politics and institutions. We've understood taxation as being not only about raising revenues, but about transforming the state and the relationship between citizens and their governments. And to do that, we've built a really unique and impressive team, a team of people who are experts in a deep sense in issues about taxation and tax systems as they exist and function in the particular context of lower income countries. We've worked with partners inside and outside of government across Africa and Asia to generate insights into how to build more effective, more equitable, more accountable tax systems, and then in turn to work with governments to translate those new insights into reality. <laughs>